Welcome everybody. Today's video is called Lena Lynn's and Lazarus Glory. Praise be to God. Amen. And this has um, been an eventful week for myself and my family. Amen. And um, we have some sad news. Firstly, my um, wife, Len, um, her close sister, I mean, nearly the same age as Len, um, passed away this week with the coronavirus, sadly, and in the Philippines. And um, they had to bury her immediately. They couldn't even do the nine days mourning, which they do customary in the Philippines. And had to be burned, um, buried immediately. And so it was a very, very sad and unexpected um, event, leaving behind her um, and lovely children and a husband who sorely miss her. And um, so, it, again, it was a very, very, very sad um, and unexpected news this week um, that we've had to to endure. And it's going to be about... Lena Lynn's life, as I've said, as I've said, the video is called Lena Lynn's and Lazarus' glory. What does that mean? Amen. How is it? How are we going to look at glory this week? Amen. When it's been such an, a a sad, amen, um, 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 news that we've had to, amen, go through this week. And um, but remember, the scripture said in two Corinthians chapter one, God is the God of all comfort. Amen. That he's able to comfort us in any situation that we are in. And that's the Holy Spirit's name, is the comforter. And the Holy Spirit's got many different ways of comforting us. Amen. In whatever situation we're in. And if you have a relationship with the Holy Spirit, be assured of this. No matter what you go through, you're going to be comforted. It doesn't matter. As the Apostle Paul said in Romans chapter 8, Amen. I'm persuaded that neither height nor depth, principalities, death, life, you name it, nothing can separate me from the love of God that's in Christ Jesus. Amen. And if you are, then you'll have a smile on your face. No matter what you are going through, praise be to God. Amen. That's what we give God thanks. Amen. That we're able to feel glorious, to see glory. Amen. Uh, Though Lenalyn has passed away, but gone to glory. Praise God. And that's what God expects from us. You must never lose the feeling of feeling glorious inside of you. Because when you have a relationship with Jesus and you have the Holy Spirit in your life, Amen. He brings the glory into your life. Amen. A crown, the Bible says, of glory. A crown of life. Amen. The Bible says, those who appear in Zion go from glory to glory. Amen. As Apostle Paul said, every star differs in glory. Praise be to God. So, amen. For this, we give God thanks. Amen. That we can rejoice and feel a glory in our lives at the passing of such a wonderful sister because it reminds us of the scripture in Romans 8. Nothing shall separate us from the love of God. And that's what makes you feel glorious, knowing that you are loved. Praise be to God. So, amen. Just bear with us as we go through, amen, and explain some of the ways that the Holy Spirit has made us feel glorious. Praise be to God. Now, remember, amen, in Lazarus' funeral, amen, uh, Jesus said concerning Lazarus, this sickness is not unto death, but it is unto the glory of God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. But you have to find out, amen, when someone passes away, where is it to the glory of God. Amen. Where, amen, can we feel a glorious feeling though the news has been sad? And that's what Jesus was telling the family of Lazarus and those around him. This sickness is not unto death, but it is unto the glory of God. Amen. Amen. God wants us to experience glory inside of this death. It is not 
unto death. And what does death mean? Amen. Death to joy. Death to peace. Death to, amen, gentleness. Death to happiness. No. Amen. Praise be to God. And that's what God was saying about Lazarus. This sickness that Lazarus is going through shall not be the death of joy, of peace, of happiness. Amen. But it shall be the opposite. To the glory of God, you're going to feel a glorious joy. Amen. And that's what Holy Spirit has been showing us as we've been looking at Lena Lynn's wonderful life. And we're going to be showing you inside the video where Lena Lynn's life ended in glory. Let me say this again. Where Lena Lynn's life ended in glory. Praise be to God. Amen. Just like when she was born, amen, through her mother, 47 years ago, she was 47 in the, in the, in the age of her death. Just like when she was born 47 years ago, it brought joy. So too when she died 47 years ago, it also brings great joy because we can behold and see a glory in Lena Lynn's life. And that's what we're going to be talking about in just one minute praise God and this is why Jesus at Lazarus funeral began to weep why because they were groaning and mourning at Lazarus funeral instead of actually seeing the glory amen that was inside of Lazarus life what was the glory in Lazarus life Lazarus loved Jesus praise be to God and if you love Jesus you have the promise of eternal life right now not just when you die when you're living you feel the eternal life living inside of you praise god and let's now look at the difference between the glory of those people that are in the world without christ and those people that have christ let's give you an example one of the most famous sportsmen of all time is lance armstrong he won more records than any cyclist of all time he was acclaimed one of the greatest sportsmen that ever lived, even beyond Michael Jordan. And the same with Tonya Harding, one of the most famous ice skaters of all time, the first one to ever have the glory and the honor of the triple jump, just like Lance Armstrong, the first person to ever win seven Tour de France's. Such glory they had, praise be to God. But their lives their sports career ended in shame, in tremendous shame. They were shamed in front of the whole world and found to be cheats, praise be to God. But why did God allow such shame to come upon them when other people have done similar things but they've not been found out? Right? The Bible said, thy life shall find out because both these people dishonored their parents who tried to do the best by them. Yes, the parents had their faults. Yes, the parents had their faults. But they exposed their parents' faults, though the parents tried to do their best to give them a life that ended in such great success. And that tremendous, amen, dishonor that they showed toward the parents made their glory. Look at this and in shame the same with michael jackson gone down to be the greatest musician of all time what did he do speak against his parents and inside of that the life ended in tremendous shame but here we have little Lynn, who gave up amen had to move away from her blessed husband and her children to look after her mother the last two years not seeing a family, amen, giving her all to make sure her elderly mother in a sickness was looked after and cared for, praise be to God, amen, the very opposite to those people that's inside of the world, you see the difference between the world, glory, amen, the world gives up all the honor of parents to seek for the glory that's in the earth, but Lena Lynn, praise God, forsook everything in the earth to look after her elderly mother and that's the first commandment number four with promise amen honor thy father and mother 
that thou mayest live long on the earth. Now people say, well, Leonard Lynn's died. No, the long that God is talking about is eternal life. Honor thy mother and father for me, and you will live long. That's eternity, you see. You shall be given eternal life. That's the glory. And there was nothing on this earth, not family, not husband, not children, could stop her fulfilling that commandment of God. While the other greats of the world, Michael Jackson, Lance Armstrong, Tonya Hardy, had all the glory of the earth, but lost the commandment with promise to honor thy mother and father. And to die like Lena Lynn with such glory and such honor. Amen. Then you understand why Jesus said, This sickness of Lena Lynn. Praise be to God, amen, was not unto death, but it is unto the glory of God, amen, that when you speak of Lena Lynn, you know that she is truly alive, praise be to God, amen, given glory inside of her life, just like God, amen, would speak about Job and said, have you considered my servant Job, there's none like him. Amen. Or like God would speak about Moses, give it the glory of Moses, that he is the meekest man upon the earth. Praise be to God. Or Epaphroditus in the New Testament, where Apostle Paul speaks about him, how he was gave his life, amen, for the brethren, that he was sick, nigh unto death, to minister to the needs of the brethren. Praise be to God. Amen. And so too, when we look at Lena Lynn's life, and an amazed, praise be to God, Amen. For the sake of Jesus, that she surrendered everything up, that she might honor her mother. Amen. Praise be to God. And in doing that, gain the first commandment with promise that she will live long upon the land. Praise be to God. Amen. Amen. Because of the honor that she gave her mother and father praise god you've got to find that honor that's what jesus was saying to lazarus family this sickness is not unto death but unto the glory of god amen if you can't find your own glory in your own life how are you going to praise god feel the joy and see the glory in those people who have passed away do you understand that amen what's the glory of god that you can see in your own life Amen. And when you can see glory in your own life, you know, you feel joy. Like Apostle Paul said, I am persuaded that not life, nor death, nor anything's present or come shall separate me from the love of God that's in Christ Jesus. That's the glory that you will feel while you're living. And if you can feel it in you while you're living, you'll definitely see it in those people that have passed away. But sadly, if you don't feel the glory of God, amen, inside of your life every day. What happens is when you lose a loved one, amen, you lose sight of the glory of God in their life. And you sadly, you rob it from them. But instead of rejoicing, and again, I say rejoice, as Apostle Paul said, sorrow not. What happens is you bring, as Jesus said, sorrow have filled your heart. Praise be to God. Amen. And that's why Jesus wept at Lazarus' funeral. Because sorrow filled their heart. They lost sight of the glory of God in their own life while they're living. Amen. And they lost sight of the glory of God that was inside of the life of Lazarus. Though he had passed away. Praise be to God. Amen. That's why it said in Revelations, From henceforth now, amen, blessed are those who die in Christ, praise God. Amen. There's a joy inside of it. But, that's, but, but we've got to find it. We've got to find the glory. And I thanks be to God that inside of this house, with me and my wife, the sister of Lenny Lynn, amen, though she's passed away, we can definitely feel the glory that God has given to Lena Lynn, amen. We can see the joy, amen, that she's feeling now 
Oh, I kind of, I wish I could put the joy inside of you. We can feel the joy that she's feeling now. Praise be to God. Amen. Why? Because we can feel in our own life the glory. Amen. The joy. Amen. What it is to experience a life living with Jesus before you die. Please, I, I encourage you, brethren, please start to feel the joy of living. Amen. Amen. The laughter of living. Amen. That you might see the glory in dying. Praise be to God in Jesus' name. And I think that's it. That's it. And that's why Jesus said in John chapter 17, the first verse, Jesus says, Give me the glory, Father, I had with you before the world began. Amen. Let that be my prayer for you, that you will seek the glory you had with God when you first came to Him. Amen. Pray why? Because then when the evil day comes, that's what Proverbs said, Solomon said, Remember God in thy youth before the evil day comes why because when the evil day comes you will have joy look this is why the bible says jesus was three days and three nights in the belly of the, the grave just like jonah amen but on the third day jesus rose him up and that's what happens when you've got jesus in your life you may sorrow for one day maybe two days but on the third day god raises you up as you behold and see that what has happened was not unto death, but it was to the glory of God. And when you have Jesus in your life, that's how you'll feel in everything. No matter what has happened to you, no matter who has hurt you, no matter what bad news you receive, no matter what money you lose, no matter what loved one passes away, by the third day, you will rise up because Christ is in you and you will see that whatever you've gone through is for the glory of God. Amen. And that's the joy that me and my family have seen when we see the beauty of Lena Lynn's passing at age 47. Let me show you something, the significance of 47. When my wife, amen, first married me, Amen. The very first thing I told her before we married is Jesus is returning in 2047. And those of you watch my videos, you will see that I have said this for years and years, that Jesus shall return in 2047. Praise be to God. Amen. And Lena Lynn, Lena Lynn was the one responsible for pushing my wife towards the ministry that would bring her to me. Amen. That me and my wife, Lynn, praise God, will go right to the end, 2047, when Jesus shall return. And look at that. It was Lena Lynn that pushed Lynn towards me. Praise be to God. Amen. And Lena Lynn now has gone to meet her end, her glorious end, at age 47. Just like her sister, Lynn, the same name as her sister, Will. Amen. Meet her end in 2047 when Jesus returns. What a glory, a glorious end. David said, teach me, Lord, to know what my end is, that I might know that we are but men. Praise be to God. So, amen. God bless you, Lena Lynn. We love you. We all love you. Your family loves you. Amen. But we just thank God that we can see and witness the glory of God in your life. As we, while we're living, rejoice in the glory of living with Jesus. The glory of having Jesus in our life. Amen. That we can behold and see definitely your end ended with glory. Just like it did begin. So God bless you all in the Philippines. Our prayers are with you. Amen. But let us rejoice and be happy. Amen. And pray. Amen. That all the loved ones of Lena Lynn will experience the care that God and the provision that God will provide for that family. The care and the provision for Jesus will meet all your needs according to his riches and glory. Praise be to God in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, thank you so much for the joy of living. Amen. That no matter what comes our way, no matter what, we're not separated from the love of God. 
inside of Christ Jesus, that we feel glorious no matter what happens to us. And I pray that's how all the family in the Philippines will feel. Amen. And this time, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you all from my wife and us here in London. In the name of Jesus.